Inanunsyo ang bagong IATF Resolution No. 160-D ng acting presidential spokesperson Carlo Nograles. Pakinggan natin ang mga naging pagbabago ng IATF protocol sa ngayon. Including their foreign spouse and or children who are not balikbayans in their own right and are traveling with them to the Philippines will not be required to possess return tickets not later than 30 days from date of arrival in the country. Yung citizens coming from the 157 countries under EO 408 series of 1960 as amended who intend to stay beyond 30 days for purposes other than tourism or leisure may enter the Philippines through an entry exemption document issued under existing IATF rules and regulations provided Foreign spouses and children of Filipino citizens who are not nationals of EO 408 countries, whether or not traveling with said Filipino citizen, or are from visa-required countries, or who are restricted nationals, may enter the country without need of an entry exemption document provided they have been issued. Ito, inatasan ang Bureau of Quarantine, Department of Transportation, one-stop shop, at Bureau of Immigration na kilalanin ang proofs of vaccination ng apat na bansang aking binanggit. Welcome to AFW and ROF's news update. If you are new in this channel, please consider subscribing and get updated. Magandang, uh, magandang tanghali po, magandang huwepes na tanghali po sa ating mga kababayan. Special announcement lang po ngayong araw dahil may bagong aksyon at desisyon ang Interagency Task Force or IATF. Inaprobahan ng IATF ang recommendation ng Department of Foreign Affairs na kinalanin ang mga National COVID-19 Vaccination Certificate ng Brazil, Israel, South Korea, at Timor Leste for purposes of arrival quarantine protocols as well as for interzonal, intrazonal movement. Kung inyong matatandaan, may nauna na tayo mga bansa, teritoryo, jurisdictions kung saan ang kanilang proofs of vaccination ay ating kinilala at tinanggap. Kaugnay nito, inatasan ang Bureau of Quarantine, Department of Transportation, one-stop shop, at Bureau of Immigration na kilalanin ang proofs of vaccination ng apat na bansang aking binanggit. Inamendahan din po naman ng IATF ang ilang entry, testing, and quarantine protocols ng mga foreign nationals na galing sa ibang bansa na unang nakasaad sa provisions ng IATF Resolution No. 160-B dated February 3, 2022. Nakasaad sa IATF Reso No. 160-B na ngayon dito po sa bagong resolution meron na po itong exemption. So it now reads except for foreign spouses and or children of Filipino citizens and former Filipino citizens with balikbayan privilege under Republic Act No. 9174, foreign nationals traveling to the Philippines for business and tourism purposes may enter the Philippines without visas provided they have valid tickets for their return journey to the port of origin or next port of destination not later than 30 days from date of arrival in the Philippines. Ngayon, dito po sa bagong resolusyon, meron na po itong exemption. So it now reads, except for foreign spouses and or children of Filipino citizens and former Filipino citizens with balikbayan privilege under Republic Act No. 9174, including their foreign spouse and or children who are not balikbayans in their own right and are traveling with them to the Philippines. So ito po ang exemption sa requirement na kailangan ng valid tickets for their return journey to the port of origin or next port of destination not later than 30 days from date of arrival in the Philippines. Ibig sabihin po, to reiterate, foreign spouses and or children of Filipino citizens and former Filipino citizens with balikbayan privilege under Republic Act No. 9174, including their foreign spouse and or children who are not balikbayans in their own right and are traveling with them to the Philippines will not be required to possess return tickets not later than 30 days from date of arrival in the country. Inamiyandahan din po...
provision under the heading foreign nationals entering through 9A visa. Sa resolution number 160-B, ito ang nakasaad. Foreign nationals not covered or qualified under A1A, ito yung dating Filipino citizens with balikbayan privilege, or section A1B, ito naman yung mga citizens sa 157 countries entitled to a stay na hindi lalampas sa 30 days, or foreign nationals from visa-required countries or restricted foreign nationals may enter the Philippines through an entry exemption document. Ngayon, sa resolution 160-D, ito po yung pinakabagong resolution, ito po ay nagtagdagan ng foreign nationals covered by section A1B intending to stay beyond 30 days for purposes other than tourism or leisure. Ibig ko sabihin, yung citizens coming from the 157 countries under EO 408 series of 1960 as amended, who intend to stay beyond 30 days for purposes other than tourism or leisure, may enter the Philippines through an entry exemption document issued under existing IATF rules and regulations provided, number one, they are fully vaccinated as defined in section A2 above, except only for minor children below 12 years of age traveling with their fully vaccinated parent or parents. Pangalawa, they carry, possess an acceptable, an acceptab, uh, they carry or possess acceptable proof of vaccination as set out in A3 above, and they present a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours prior to the date and time of departure from the country of origin, first port of embarkation, in a continuous travel to the Philippines, excluding layovers provided that he or she has not left the airport premises or has not been admitted into another country during such layover. Itinagtag din po sa inamiendahan resolution ng IATF ang tungkol sa foreign spouses at sa mga anak ng Filipino citizens na hindi kabilang sa nationals na mga bansang covered under EO408. Basahin po natin. Foreign spouses and children of Filipino citizens who are not nationals of EO408 countries, whether or not traveling with said Filipino citizen, or are from visa-required countries, or who are restricted nationals, may enter the country without need of an entry exemption document provided they have been issued a 9A visa with the appropriate visa notation. So 9A visa po ang applyan ng mga ito. And these foreign nationals likewise required to comply with the provisions of foreign nationals entering the Philippines visa-free, namely, one, fully vaccinated, except only for minor children below 12 years of age traveling with their fully vaccinated foreign parent or parents. Number two, carry or possess an acceptable proof of vaccination. So acceptable proof of vaccination. Number three, present a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours prior to the date and time of departure from country of origin or first port of embarkation in a continuous travel to the Philippines excluding layovers provided that he or she has not left the airport premises or has not been admitted into another country during such layover. And number four, have passports valid for a period of at least six months at the time of their arrival to the Philippines. So ayan po, Isaac Rocky at mga kababayan, dito po nagtatapating special event at handa po tayong tumanggap ng uh, Tatlong tanong, or hanggang limang tanong mula sa MD. Mas kaugnay daw po ng bagong guidelines sa foreign arrival starting today. What's the bottom line uh, bottom line rule? And are we not worried of a spike in cases? Uh, do you think the protocols for this are enough? Uh, ang bottom line po natin ay um, tatanggap na po tayo ng mga uh, foreign nationals coming for um, tourism and business. Okay, so lahat ng mga protocols uh, na ginawa po natin, uh, tayo naman po ay um, confident. We're confident that because of these protocols, ay, uh, we will be able to ensure na number one, mapipick up na ang, ang uh, tourism industry natin, mapapatangon natin muli ang ating tourism industry. Makakatulong po ito na malaki sa mga lubos na naapektuhan sa sektor na yan, lalong-lalo na po ang ating mga uh, workers, employees, mga nagtatrabaho sa sektor na iyan. 
uh, mapapabuti din po natin ang uh, economic growth and development um, ng ating bansa dahil nga po ay uh, mapapabangon ng buli natin itong ating uh, tourism industry and all other industries dependent on tourism dahil marami pong magkakaroon po ng cascading effect yan sa iba't ibang mga industriya na uh, connected sa turismo. But we will be able to ensure if everybody complies no, with uh, all the minimum uh, health and safety protocols po natin, maging ang mga turista, maging mga foreign nationals ay magko-comply at lahat po tayo magko-comply, ay ma-assure po natin na hindi ito magiging uh, uh, sanhi ng uh, spike or surge in uh, in COVID. No? But at the same time, we have to ramp up some more yung mga vaccination efforts natin. Tandaan po natin, na pag foreign national coming to the Philippines, kailangan po fully vaccinated. So tayo rin po sa Bansang Pilipinas, for our own protection and the protection of the community and our families, kailangan din po maramp up pa natin ang uh, vaccination uh, ng ating mga kababayan. At ngayon ay nagsisimula na nga rin po tayo sa vaccination ng ating mga kabataan. Uh, yung 12 to 17 and then uh, we've already begun yung 5 to 11. At kanya nga po ay uh, umpisa na rin po natin or inumpisa na rin po natin ang uh, bayanihan bakunaan phase 3 all over the country. Apo. Uh, sunod po ang tanong mula kay Naomi Tiburcio ng PTV News. Ganito rin, ganito rin po yung tanong ni Samed Danina ng Business Mirror. May we get now po the palace statement on the increase in unemployed Filipinos last December uh, based now po on the latest uh, labor, labor survey. What is the government doing to increase the employment rate? Kailangan po natin ilagay ito sa tamang perspektibo at konteksto. Ano? Uh, yung labor force survey natin, nakita natin na uh, tumaas ng konti yung ating tinatawag na unemployment rate no? from 6.5 to 